One day before the opening ceremonies at the Beijing Olympics, which President Bush will attend, he issued a blunt message to the Chinese government, and China has responded. CBS News correspondent Jeff Glor is in Beijing, but we begin with Jim Axelrod, who was with the president in Thailand. Good morning, Jim. Well, good morning, Harry. President Bush actually is in the air right now on his way to China, but just hours before he left from here in Bangkok, he criticized China's record on human rights in the harshest, most direct terms of his presidency. For months, President Bush has taken heat from critics over his decision not to boycott the opening ceremonies of the Beijing Games. Aides have said attending the ceremonies would give Mr. Bush the moral authority to speak clearly to Chinese leaders. He certainly seemed to be illustrating that point here in Thailand before he took off for China. The United States believes the people of China deserve the fundamental liberty that is the natural right of all human beings. So America stands in firm opposition to China's detention of political dissonance and human rights advocates and religious activists. The president's speech obviously won't go down very well with China's leaders, and it's not like he won't be seeing them over the next several days. In fact, he'll be seeing China's president, Hu Jintao, at least three times over the next couple of days, including both attending next Monday's U.S.-China basketball game. What's China's government's reaction? Let's go to Beijing and Jeff Glor for that. Well, Jim, good morning to you. While President Bush may feel this was the speech he needed to deliver, the Chinese government does not agree. That said, it's unlikely to have a significant short-term impact. This Olympics has been billed as a chance for China to show the world what they can do. But even more so, it's a chance for China to show its own people what they can do. Which means any external criticism, while no doubt annoying to the Chinese government, is trumped by internal opinion. Plus, Zhu Fong of Peking University feels President Bush's remarks were firm, yes, but measured. But I have to say he is very uh, careful in his wording and the words selection. In other words, it's unlikely to get him disinvited. The same can't be said for Joey Cheek, the former gold medalist and current Darfur activist, whose visa was revoked at the last minute. Joey Cheek, no, he's no more a threat to the Chinese Communist Party than you or I are, right? Uh, but yet there's this sense that it would, it would look disorderly. It would, he'd, he'd, be, he'd be the pimple on the pretty face. The bottom line, China is still a one-party government. What they say goes. That means immediately arresting protesters if what they're saying isn't liked, and that means denying or revoking visas if China feels that's what's good for the games. It's important to note that President Bush's remarks were delivered in Thailand, not from here in China, and the text was released well in advance to make sure there were no surprises. Harry? Jeff Glor in Beijing this morning. Thanks.